Hey sellers, let's make sure your house actually goes to closing. Here are six questions your listing agent should be asking the lender before accepting an offer on your behalf. Number one, credit in disputes. Have you pulled the buyer's credit report yet? Was it a hard or soft credit pull? Hard pulls can affect credit scores while soft pulls won't. Are there any disputes on the credit report that we should be addressing? And if so, when do you expect it to be resolved? Prompt resolutions ensure a smoother transaction. Number two, anticipated problems in timely closure. What potential problems do you anticipate with this offer? And do you foresee any delays in closing? Being proactive helps in planning. Ensuring timely closure is crucial for both parties involved. Number three, verification of financials. Has the lender thoroughly verified the buyer's income, assets, and cash reserves? This ensures the buyer's financial capability to fulfill the contract. Did you review the full tax returns for the past two years? Comprehensive financial insights are crucial. Is the income regular W-2 income or does it involve Schedule A of any kind or reimbursable expenses? Understanding the nature of income is essential for assessment. For example, someone may make $130,000 a year and they have $25,000 in reimbursable expenses. That can significantly change the numbers that are used for qualifying. This can result in an imbalance of their debt to income ratio and thus disqualify them from that purchase amount. Remember, you were once a buyer too. Debt to income ratio is a real thing to consider. Number four, self-employment status. Is the buyer self-employed? And if so, for how long? Self-employment status may impact financial stability and loan approval. Number five, underwriting status. Has the buyer's application been fully reviewed and underwritten and are they just waiting to plug in the perfect property? Have all the documents been received? Understanding the underwriting status ensures clarity on the buyer's readiness to proceed and the bank's eagerness to fund. Number six, cash. Do they have enough cash for the down payment, closing costs, and any difference in appraisal if it comes in lower than the sales price? Verify cash reserves for a smooth transaction. Are you or anyone else you know looking to sell in the next few months? Call me today, Donna Chong with the Fox Home Team.